This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. If you're looking for cards in the US, look no further as you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA to get you 5% off anything on the site. Or if you're in Canada like me, you can use the same promo code at Multizone to get 10% off your orders of singles. If cards aren't what you're looking for, Original Magic Art has playmats, tokens, and sweet art that you can use that same promo code to help you get 5% off your order there. If you're looking to bling out your cards, using Alter Sleeves is a great way to do so, and you can click the affiliate link in my About section to help out the channel as you make an order. And if you just want to help out the channel, you can always consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month and join the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's game is another multi-zone matchup with Miguel playing Oketra. He keeps four planes, isolated watchtower, banisher priest, and a blood clock. Peter is playing Yuriko, keeping a flooded strand, command tower, buried ruin, Demir aqueduct, tainted isle, thalico seer, and a throat slicer. Dom is playing Yerok, keeping an island, Lanoir wastes, carpet of flowers, coiling oracle, animate dead, corsair of crucifix, and a bramble sovereign. Last but not least, Sam is playing Maronar, keeping two swamps, Skull Clamp, Bontu's Last Reckoning, Executioner's Capsule, and two rat colonies. Peter wins the die roll and starts us off. Peter plays a Flooded Strand, cracking it to find a watery grave, which he'll have come in tapped, and passes. Sam plays a Swamp and taps it for an Executioner's Capsule. Miguel plays a Plains, passing. Dom plays a Lanoir Wastes and taps it, taking one for Carpet of Flowers. Moving to his second main phase, he adds a green with a carpet and uses that to pay for Birds of Paradise. Peter plays a Command Tower and taps both his lands for Thalico Seer. Sam plays a Swamp as his land for turn and casts the first of what we can only assume is many, many rat colonies. Miguel plays a Plains and passes. Dom adds mana with Carpet of Flowers and plays an Island for turn, and then casts a Coiling Oracle. He reveals Sensei's Divining Top, and then uses the Lanowar Waste to pay for it, passing back to Peter. Peter plays a Drowned Catacombs and moves to combat. He swings the Sierra Dom, and with no blocks, ninjutsus out Yuriko. Dom then takes one, and with the trigger, Peter reveals his top card, which is Sig River Cutthroat, and has each of his opponents take two. He then passes and discards down to seven, pitching an island. Sam plays a Swamp and taps for a Skull Clamp. He casts another Rat Colony and attacks Peter. Peter takes the three and Sam passes. Miguel plays a Plains and taps out for a Banisher Priest. He targets Yuriko and Peter decides to put her back into the Command Zone rather than exile her. Dom plays a Field of the Dead for his land for turn and using the mana for the Carpet of Flowers, plus taking one from Lanowar Wastes, taps out for Gaunti. He targets Peter, picking one of his top four cards and exiling it, and Peter puts the rest on the bottom. Peter plays a Tainted Isle, and casts Sig, and then recasts the Thalico Seer, and passes to Sam. Sam untaps and plays a Swamp. He pays one to clamp onto the rats, and draws two. He then pays three mana for a Phyrexian Arena, Passing to Miguel. Miguel plays an isolated watchtower, passing. Dom plays a command tower and uses the mana from the carpet trigger and taps his birds, plus the field of the dead, for a courser of crucifix. He reveals his top card, which is a swamp, and passes back to Peter. Peter plays a swamp and moves to combat. He swings both at Sam, and after no blocks are declared, he ninjutsus out both Yuriko and a throat slitter. Sam then takes three and with Yuriko's two triggers, Peter reveals an island and black market, dealing a total of five to his opponents. He then passes as he discards down to seven. Sam loses one life to his arena, and draws a card, and then draws her turn. He casts Howling Mine, followed by a rat colony. He swings back at Peter for three, and then passes. Before the end of turn, Miguel flashes out a white mane lion, and bounces her banisher priest back to his hand. Miguel plays a Plains and recasts the Banisher Priest, this time targeting the Throat Slitter as it comes in and exiling it, and then passing. Dom uses his top to rearrange the top three, 
and draws and plays a swamp for turn. He gains one as it comes in from the courser and casts the Grow Spiral, playing out a watery grave tapped after drawing it and gaining one. Peter draws for turn and plays a Buried Ruin. He recasts Sig and the Thalico Seer again and moves to combat, swinging Yuriko at Sam. Sam blocks with a rat, and with nothing else, Peter passes. Sam draws his three cards, taking one from the arena, getting one from the Howling Mine, and drawing for turn. He plays a Swamp, and then casts Demonic Tutor. After searching through his library, he casts a Darksteel Ingot, and passes to Miguel. Miguel draws his cards, and casts a Surter Priest, and passes, with Dom using the top at the end of Miguel's turn. On Dom's upkeep, he uses the top to draw his Worldly Tutor, which he casts before he moves to his draw step. He puts a Wooden Bellower on top, drawing it as well as Sidisi Undead Vizier from the Howling Mine. He then casts the Woodland Bellower and searches his library for one of my favorite creatures, Risen Reef. It enters the battlefield and reveals Zendikar Resurgent, which he puts to hand, and loses two life from the creatures coming to play with the Searcher Priest out. Dom then moves to combat, swinging Gaunti at Peter and the Courser at Sam, with both of them declaring no blocks and each taking two. Peter draws his cards and plays a Polluted Delta, cracking it and going to fetch a Swamp while losing one. He moves to combat, swinging Sig at Sam and the Seer at Miguel. With no blocks declared, Peter ninjutsus out Yuriko for Sig and Walker of the Secret Ways for the Seer. Before damage, Miguel flashes in a Stone Cloaker, bouncing the White Mane Lion, and exiling Demonic Tutor from Sam's graveyard. Sam then takes one, and Miguel takes one, and Peter gets to reveal his top two cards of his library from the Yuriko triggers. He unfortunately reveals two lands, but does get to look at Miguel's hand. In Peter's second main phase, he recasts Sig again, and then a Siren Storm Tamer, passing to Sam. Sam draws for turn and plays a Reliquary Tower before casting a Secret Salvage. He searches for presumably all the rat colonies in his deck and puts them to hand. Miguel plays a land for turn and then casts Rout. This wipes the board and returns the Throat Slicer to the field as the Banisher Priest dies. Dom draws his cards and casts Yerok using the mana from the carpet. He then taps out for Animate Dead, enchanting the Woodland Bellower. With Yerok's ability, Dom is able to search for two creatures this time, finding Wood Elves and Farhaven Elves, which finds him a total of four lands instead of the normal two they would find. This triggers Field of the Dead, and a lot of debating. I believe Dom should have ended up with eight zombies, as with the first land entering from the battlefield, from one of the four lands being searched for, it would trigger Field of the Dead, making two. Each additional land would create two zombies more, totaling an eight. But somehow the table ends up with six. Peter draws and plays an underground river, and then delves away a bunch of cards to cast Temporal Trespass. He moves to combat, swinging the Throat Slitter at Sam. With no blocks declared, he ninjutsus out Yuriko, hitting Sam for one, and revealing Soul Ring, dealing one to all of his opponents. He then casts the Soul Ring, and takes one as he taps the underground river for a misplayed shinobi. He then passes to himself to his next turn. Peter untaps and draws. He moves to combat, swinging both creatures at Miguel. Miguel takes a total of two, and Peter reveals Okiba Gang Shinobi and Ornithopter, dealing a total of five to his opponents. He then casts an Ornithopter in his second main phase, followed by a Black Market and then the Thalico Seer again. With nothing else, he passes to Sam. Sam casts Bontu's Last Reckoning from his fistful of cards to destroy all creatures, and to the added benefit of Peter, adds 13 counters onto Peter's Black Market. He then passes to Miguel. Miguel plays a Plains and casts Mentor of the Meek, passing. Dom pays 7, using some of the mana from Carpet of Flowers, for Zendikar Resurgent, and follows up with Cream of the Crop. At the end of turn, Miguel casts Crush Contraband, exiling Black Market and Skull Clamp. Peter plays a Morphic Pool as his land for turn and casts a Hope of Jiripur and then the Throat Slitter which he'd bounced back to hand earlier with the Ninjutsu. He then passed to Sam. Sam draws his cards, losing one to the arena, 
and then cast Marinar in his main phase, passing turn. Miguel follows very similarly, drawing his cards, playing a Plains, and then casting a Ketra, and passing. Dom untaps with more mana than anyone really should, and he casts Sidisi, who upon entering, exploits herself. He stacks the triggers that he tutors first, and then the cream of the crop. Once he's finished tutoring for a card, he shows it to the table by casting a Torment of Hailfire, where X is 14. Responding to this, Miguel flashes out his white main line, getting a zombie token from his Aketra trigger to be used as fodder for the Torment, plus pays the one to the Mentor trigger to draw a card. The spell then resolves as each of Dom's opponents move to resolve 14 instances of the spell. This has Peter ending up taking 18 and discarding 7, and sacrificing his soul ring. Sam decides to discard a full 14 rat colonies, while Miguel loses 2 creatures, discards 7, and still takes 15. Surprisingly, with no one dead, Dom just passes to Peter. Peter plays a Temple of Deceit for turn, scrying a card and keeping it on top. He swings the Hope of Girapur and throws Slitter at Dom for 3. He ninjutsus out Yuriko and gets 2 triggers, revealing Temporal Mastery and Sword of Feast and Famine. This does a total of 10 damage to his opponents, which is enough to take Miguel out. He then casts the extra turn spell, which gets promptly countered by Mana Drain from Dom. He passes with nothing else to do. Sam casts Swiftfoot Boots and equips Marinar, and then proceeds to start blasting out rat colonies from his hand. Once he's done that, he activates Marinar, sacrificing one rat, which makes four more rats, and with the power of one rat colony, moves to combat and takes out Peter. Dom at this point has more mana than every player at the table combined even when they were alive, and he casts Demonic Tutor. He goes to find a Palancron and makes infinite mana. Once that's done, he uses the Yawgmoth's will to recast Torment of Hailfire for a second time, because if one wasn't enough to take everyone out, a second one surely will seal the game. And Sam, knowing when he's beat, scoops it up. Game review time. So I'm pretty sure Miguel wished that Crush the Contraband was actually a return to dust when he cast it, but he's having to choose between a big black market and Zendikar Resurgent couldn't have been easy. I still don't know if he made the right choice, because frankly both decks probably do and can run Torment of Hailfire. And in the case of Dom, he actually got to use his. Otherwise, we didn't even see Dom abusing Yurik that much. Only that one turn where he got the Woodland Bellower back, who in turn brought out Wood Elves and Farhaven Elf. Also, I'm not entirely sure, but I think Sam might have actually had lethal on Dom, assuming Dom didn't have any kind of interaction in his hand. That last turn, where he had a bunch of rats out. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.